IMRI means intraoperative MRI, which means that it is used in surgery at the time usually of uh, an open, usually cranial neurosurgical procedure. There are all kinds of issues transporting an anesthetized patient to different floors, different rooms, and many a long distance away. Now we have the MRI essentially immediately adjacent, and so the person doesn't even need to leave the operating room bed. The same bed literally slides right into the MR scanner, which is adjacent, so we can maintain sterility. We don't have the issues with transporting patients long distances. The anesthesia circuit is maintained in many cases, and so it's a much safer experience for the patient. Brain tumors, when we see them, are oftentimes very similar to the brain tissue that is immediately adjacent to them. And so when we go in in the operating room, even with a microscope and with the tactile feedback of our hands and our instruments, we sometimes can't tell that this tissue here is tumor and the adjacent tumor is normal brain. So sometimes we end up erring on the side of caution in leaving a little bit of tumor that looked like it was normal brain around it. Now, we can take the patient when we're done with the resection as we see it under the microscope, immediately to the MRI scanner and see, oh my goodness, there's another 10% of tumor in this location adjacent to our little cavity that we've created, and it's safe to take that out, come right back into the operating room and remove it. And we know for a fact that people who have a large majority of their tumor or a larger majority of their tumor removed do better in the long run, longer survival and higher cure rates. It's a big boon to recruitment of the top quality tumor surgeons, the top quality cancer researchers that will be able to come here and participate. And I think we'll have a lot fewer patients having to leave the area and go to some major centers around the country because we now have this. Simeon Bell, who founded the hospital, did it under the guise of making it so that no one would really have to leave the Kansas City area to get the best care ever. And so we wanted that to be uh, true in neurosurgery, and I think now with this it is.